good morning my friends it's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you from Las Vegas Nevada how are you guys all doing today I hope you said well we're gonna have fun today today what we're doing is we're going to Tropicana Boulevard and we are gonna check out the Pinball Hall of Fame days with Jordan the Lion begins now yeah you do kind of feel like you've entered a new world when you're out here in Vegas but a fun one well here we are the Pinball Hall of Fame it's not flashy but I mean, as long as they have pinball machines, we're in business. Let's check it out. My, how the world has changed. We walk in and they immediately have a machine to buy masks. No infants playing the games or coming in? I don't know. We noticed right away that, uh, I guess I should have thought this, but I didn't. Every other machine is turned off because of social distancing. And then here we have Elvira. That's a great one. You can see it's got the mansion up there. Here we got the shack attack one. That's, I didn't know they had a shack. Me either, that's a great one. It's a random magic one, right? Yeah. And then look, you got a basketball court in there. And this is definitely a new school one. Yeah, look how wide it is compared. It's a little wider than the old ones. Look at all the, the ruby slippers on the all the little additions. Oh yeah, look at the ruby There's the slippers. crystal ball. Ruby and then yeah, the your these are the ruby slippers. Ruby flippers. There's the ruby flippers. Yeah. The talking trees. Yep. There's the wizard. Now here you can see the more original style, the old wooden ones with just like the mechanisms inside. Didn't have anything digital, none of that stuff. Now, I've played this one before. This is actually one of my favorites. This is the Jurassic Park one. And what I love is that a lot of the times the ball gets shot out of the dinosaur's mouth up there. You can see. And you've got the truck, all that stuff. Wayne Knight. This one's not working, but this one's a really classic. It looks like George Jones. <laughs> So here they have two of my favorites. I played both of these as well. This is the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And this one, oddly enough, was saying say no to drugs <laughs> up here when I first started filming. But this is a really good one. A lot of fun. All the 3D art and everything in there, I love that. And then this one over here is the Iron Maiden. And this one's great because it actually plays Iron Maiden music as you play it. And it has all the familiar Eddie characters from all the art, all the album art. And the flippers down here, are the ripper. Now here we have Eric checking out the Kiss one. Eric, what do you think of this? Do you think this is a pretty good, is this the newest one? Yes. Yeah. Your jeans, big now mouth you're, there. Now you're noticing it, right? Mm -hmm. you, you know how I found out? I never noticed it either, Jerry. Somebody had to point it out to me. What are you talking right. about? And See, that's, that's Peter, too. And it's crazy that even though this is the newest machine, you can see that uh, we were kind of talking about the artwork is Gene, Paul, that's Ace. That's definitely not Tommy, but that's Eric. So it's the original three plus Eric. And then if you look at this art, it's also Gene, Paul, Eric, and Ace. But then if you look right here, they clearly used Peter, Peter's image for that. And that's clearly Ace. Look at that. See, so take a look at that Paul figure inside there. And then unfortunately, the ACDC machine is turned off, but that's another really great one. I've played that before. Really fun. And also plays the music. But I love this one in the middle. This is the Monster Bash. Take a look at all the figures on there. That's killer. It's 
coffin that opens with a hand creeping out of it. Really great machine. Of course, it's hard to play them and film them, so I'm just filming them for you. Now take a look at this. This is built into more of a video game style machine, but it's actually a pinball game. See if you come in at it from the side, you can see the ballerina here hanging from the string. Then this Metallica one that's turned off over here, also amazing, I've played that one. That one's really good. Although it's not the Metallica era that I like, so it's like a lot of the art and things in there. Not exactly the type of Metallica stuff I like, but the game's phenomenal. Just not turned on because of social distancing. The Aerosmith game, pretty good. Also, same deal though. Just not a fan of the era that they chose, so a lot of the art kind of lost on me because it's the newer artwork. But you can see the original band in there. They didn't keep Joey Kramer off of this. <laughs> So here they have the new Munsters machine. Butch Patrick was actually on a uh, video with me for the vlog, but then my friend has a channel called Coffee Talk with Adika, and Butch Patrick was on there saying he couldn't believe all these years they'd never done a Munsters pinball machine up until recently. So take a look where your scores and everything, it shows the inside of the house, and then there's Herman inside there, Eddie, Grandpa, See, there's Grandpa on that little plastic piece right here in the center. And then this is Grandpa's laboratory down in there. Grandpa, when he was driving the Dragula, they're smoking that cigarette. Yeah, this is such a great game. Zombo! <laughs> there's Herman. This is so great. It says Lily and Lights. Here, Jerry and... Eric are checking out the old school 60s Batman themed game that they have. I don't remember the other guy's name. Brooklyn. Brooklyn and here. Yeah, I've had it. And this one. I don't remember that one. Cowboy guy? Yeah. Who's this cowboy guy? Well, I see Vincent Price's egghead, but we can't remember who the cowboy is. Otto Preminger. Oh, yeah, yeah. Otto Preminger, the famous Freeze. director. Mr. Freeze. We were trying to remember how many different Riddlers there were, and then Eric remembered, ah, oh, the other Riddler other than Frank Gorshin was John Aston Gomez Adams. Here's a lot of the old pinball machines. I see a Buck Rogers down here. Pinball pool. But I'm hoping to see the machine that I saw in Graceland. Elvis had a boxing one that was pretty famous. I'm hoping maybe they'll have it here. See, there's Buck Rogers. Roller Disco, which this one's pretty good. The whole machine looks like it's black light. Then next to it is the Hulk game, which is pretty cool. Incredible Hulk. Now I gotta check out this down here because I was told I'll recognize something. And I do. I wish, I wish I were big. I think Eric's down here playing the Munsters game. Let's go check it out. It's gonna spit out after that. I've never seen this one, this Royal Rumble. I played the video game, video game version, but not the pinball. This kind of shows you the era because you can see Miss Elizabeth up there. Ultimate Warrior. Sid Justice, or Vicious, or whatever he was going by, Psycho Sid at that time, Roddy Piper. 
Lex Luger. Yeah, this would have been 92, 93. There's Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. And then down here you've got Vince McMahon and Bobby the Brain Heenan. This would have been cool if this was on The Last Action Hero. I would have loved to have seen how this worked. Saw that movie a million times on HBO when it came out. Danny Madigan. Then check this out. As we come down here, they have one of the original Kiss machines, the original Kiss pinball. And here they have the Adams Family game, but it's the remake Adams Family, the Raul Julia, Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd as Fester, but take a look at that. Pretty cool. The game is basically the mansion. There's Fester with his electric chair. And what's cool is um, I know Fester, well, Jackie Coogan's grandson, Keith Coogan, he told me that they have the rights to everything Jackie Coogan, and he said that Whatever wasn't created in the comic book was all done by his grandfather. So like the light bulb in the mouth and everything, that, those were things that his grandfather came up with as Fester. Meaning that, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this one either, the Gilligan's Island game. Gilligan's Island pinball. There's Marianne and Ginger. Check this out. This is an old basketball, two-player basketball game, and it's kind of made like the Rock'em Sock'em Robots. The hoops being up there. And here you can test your love. I've done those before. I'm not bragging, but I always rank, you know, somewhere up in here. You'll have to take my word for it. I don't know how many quarters. See how that works? And then check this out. This is one of those little machines where you can pump a quarter in and watch part of a boxing match or some of them are like burlesque shows and things like that. Put the money in and view it in here. If I had to guess, I would guess there's a couple of hundred machines. We've been through about six or seven aisles worth. Just pointing out my favorites. This one's another one of my favorites, the Twilight Zone one. This one is fantastic. Highly recommend this one. Demolition Man, great movie, but I don't know anything about the game. This actually would be a fun one to play. All right, maybe we'll get lucky in that one that I want to see with the boxing gloves on the side will be somewhere in this aisle. So right away, this one on the left is the Tommy. You can see the pinball wizard. Nothing, nothing very the who about it, you know not licensed by the who or anything it doesn't look like but definitely what it is definitely looks like Ann margaret to me kind of and of course we have captain fantastic which is elton john This one's way cool though. It doesn't look like it would be from that, but when you start looking down here, I really like this skydiver right here. Isn't that cool? I don't think I'm going to, but if you want to come here and play with Peppy, you can. This is pretty cool. This is a baseball game, but it's actually made like ski ball. So you shoot your ball up there. That's how you get your base hits or your homers or whatever 
and then your figures move up here. And then I just noticed this one, one of my favorites, the Guns N' Roses. I actually played this in Sydney, Australia. Went to the pizza place that's famous there where all the rock bands play and they had tons of pinball machines. I got to play this one, this was great. And look, they even put Gilby on this one. And take a look at this, they actually have a couple of Disneyland Moldoramas. Kind of surprised to see those, but uh, $4 a pop and you can get, it's like, Pluto, as it rotates around. And then if we go right beside it, there's another one over here, and you can make a Donald Duck, but it looks like this one might be broken at the moment, or shut down. But that's kind of cool to get a Donald Duck. That's great, they said the machine's not working right now, but they made a few in advance, so I might get one. There's the dog. Right, set it up. Never seen this Flintstones game either. Or a cat in a pinball arcade, but I'm cool with that. Hi, nice to meet you. And then not to be confused with Zoltar, here's the Zoltan. And this one, as you see here, is from 1969. And he's got his crystal ball here. And he looks more like he's from Jerusalem. Take a look at this. You're, you're riding this Skybird when you're on this little machine. Oh wow, this is great. Check out the high score pool. <laughs> Fun times. This place is amazing. If you're wondering, they're open seven days a week here till 9 p.m. Well, this is kind of crazy. What's going on here? Some sort of space age rock concert? Who's the zigzagger? Even though it's not turned on, this is a really cool one too. Check out this Simpsons pinball machine. All the familiar folks. There's the nuclear power plant. <laughs> Itchy and scratchy. And then them trying to run over grandpa with a car. Then this Cactus Canyon one's pretty cool too because if you look down here at the game, the down here near the flippers, you actually have two pistols. Well, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I hope you've seen quite a bit in here, enough to pique your interest, and if you ever make it to Vegas, this is free. Of course you need quarters to operate the machines, but you can come out, chuck them out, relive your childhood right here in Vegas. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. I wanna thank Mike Davis and Milk Caramel Grape for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. From Las Vegas, Nevada, have a great night. And goodbye.